What a great turnout. Thanks for all being here. We got lucky with the weather. It's a perfect event for a sunny day, but regardless, this was going to be a sunny morning for Moat, just being here under the tent. I'm Sam Sider. I have the pleasure of being the chair, chairman of the board for Moat Marine. I can tell you I'm very excited that this is happening on my watch. I'm joined today by a number of our board members. Could you raise your hands or let us see, let people see where you are? I'm proud to say that we have 100% participation of the board for this project. We're lucky to have a very, very wonderful board. It's great to see so many of you here, and I understand that we are live on YouTube Live. So shout out to you people that are, uh, that are watching. Um, I can assure you that we are exercising social distancing uh, properly here at, under the tent. We're here at Nathan Benderson Park, and in uh, no time at all, it will be the site of our iconic landmark building, the C Science and Education Aquarium. Something like this uh, aquarium does not happen in a vacuum. By being here with this, uh, this new uh, campus, it also uh, opens the door for growth and development for our international worldwide uh, marine science as well as our innovative uh, educational programs at the other campuses. A day like today is not possible without uh, our Moat family, a very large and a very generous Moat family. I would love to name all of you individually, but that would take all day. So as a group, I'll say we really appreciate you, and I hope that you have a proper feeling of pride in what you've helped us uh, become. We know that we all depend on the oceans. Now we've gotten to a point where the oceans depend on us as well. So it's important for us to continue to find ways to revitalize and sustain the ocean through research and education. I'd like to give a very special thank you to, uh, to our sea explorers. There's a very generous group of uh, benefactors and because of them, we have had the ability to have this groundbreaking. 23 very special people. I'm going to name the ones that are here. And what I do, if you'd raise your hand or wave, do something so people can see who you are. Randy Benderson of the Benderson Family Foundation. There she is. Moat Trustee Barbara Bris Bristol. Jonathan Mitchell of the Edward D. and Anna Mitchell Family Foundation. <laughs> Moat Trustee Elizabeth Moore. <laughs> Representing the Mary E. Parker Foundation, Bob and Marlene Blaylock. <laughs> Mary Gerald. And Bud Parrott, see here? Oh, okay. Uh, Moat Trustee Sandy Stewart. <laughs> Jeff Steinwachs of the Steinwachs Family Foundation. Way in the back. And Moat Trustee Hobart Skip and Janice Swan. I'd like to recognize uh, the elected officials who have joined us this morning. And uh, thank you all for all you do. We really appreciate you. From the office of uh, Senator Marco Rubio, Gulf Coast Regional Director Taylor Sanchez. Okay. From the office of Congressman Vern Buchanan, District Director Sally Dion. <laughs> Congressman Greg Stubbe. From the office of State Senator James Boyd, staff member Jack Rogers. <laughs> State Representative Fiona McFarland. <laughs> and State Representative James Buchanan. 
We have people here from the Manatee County Commission. Missy, Misty Servia. <laughs> Steve Johnson. <laughs> Vanessa Bow. <laughs> Bo. Vanessa Bow. George Cruz. And Kara Whitmore. <laughs> and from the Sarasota Commission, Mike Moran. <laughs> Christian Ziegler. Nancy Deturt, Al Mayo, and Ron Kutzinger. And now, for the man of the hour, our visionary leader, President and CEO, Michael Crosby. We're going to have fun today. We're going to play in the dirt today. Um, you're going to see me get in that big excavator and have a good time. That's why we're doing this, is really so I can get in the excavator. That's what it's all about. Um, today we really are um, celebrating a milestone event in the process of bringing the Moat Sea to life right here. Um, but this event is really about celebrating our community and all of you who represent the different parts of our community here today. Um, over the past 65 years, Moat has operated significant facilities on our campuses, including in locations at some of the most iconic areas in, in Florida, Charlotte Harbor, Siesta Key, uh, City Island, the Florida Keys, and now right here at Nathan Benderson Park. Our focus has long been to locate our sites um, where our research and our science education infrastructure can have optimal impact. Um, and so today we're celebrating the evolution in the growth of MOAT where we will achieve a vision of oceans for all at a nexus location between Sarasota and Manatee counties, but really for our entire region. This site is really a gateway for Southwest Florida, and it's a gateway for the sea. This is a site that is accessible for over 3 million residents to get to in less than 60 minutes, and where 43 million vehicles drive by this site with passengers from all around the world every single year. For 65 years, the moat culture has been built on three foundational pillars. And that's what we believe has brought us our success. The first foundation is the passion, the passion that all of our scientists have, all of our staff have, our volunteers for the mission that we have of research, science education, and public outreach. The second foundational pillar is partnership. And many of you here today are representing that partnership. It's partnership with our local community, as well as research institutions all around the world. Um, but the third foundational pillar is philanthropy, and it's philanthropy that has served as the fuel for decades of moat innovation that has literally pushed the frontiers of science. And our vision for Moat C has been no different. A couple of months ago, we announced that we had received commitments for approximately $75 million in our $130 million fundraising effort. As always, for Moat's paradigm-changing initiatives, the early support, the seed support, really comes from visionary philanthropic leaders in our community, and those are the folks that our chairman, Dr. Sider, just mentioned, and I can't thank them enough. So give, please, another round of applause for those sea explorers who really embrace this, this vision. And it's because of those visionary philanthropic leaders and them stepping forward and embracing this vision and demonstrating that, yes, we are going to move forward with this, that the counties then begin to say, we can support this as well. And so in recognition of the countless ways that C is going to transform and benefit our region and the entire state, we receive commitments from 
Manatee County, from Sarasota County, and from the state of Florida through the Department of Economic Opportunity. And the support from the state of Florida along with the counties is really an embodiment of just how deeply Moat has become woven into the fabric of this community. We're blessed here to have incredibly strong, very strong advocates at the local and state government level who have been supporting all things Moat for so many years. And we celebrate all here today in attendance who represent our local, our state, and our federal governments. And I'd like to ask just a few of our elected officials who have been great champions for Moat to come and say a few words at this time. And they've all promised me that, yes, it will be just a few words at this time. <laughs> I'd like to start off with Congressman Stubbe. Congressman? Thanks, Dr. Crosby. I was told two minutes. So I will keep it to like a minute and a half. How about that? So I remember when I was in the state house years ago, six to eight years ago, sitting in your office talking about this project and talking about how great it would be for this area, the state, and our country to have something like this right in a great location that people would be able to come. And your feasibility studies that showed the increase in numbers of people that will be coming to this property versus having to drive to your current location. I'm just happy to be a part of it, happy to support it. When we've had problems in estuaries, when, when Snook died in Charlotte Harbor estuary, Moat was there. When we had the BP oil spill, Moat was there. When we need research for red tide, Moat's there. When we need research for all of the different things that we are trying to do to make water quality in the state of Florida along the coastline the best water quality in the nation, Moat is there. I'm happy to be a partner. I'm happy to support this project. If there's ever anything that we can do at the federal level to support it, I'm happy to do that. I'm excited about the opportunity for this to be here, right on the line of Manatee and Sarasota County, and I'm happy that it's going to be right here in the state of Florida. Thank you very much for coming today. Now I'd like to ask State Senator Joe Gruders to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Dr. Crosby. How about here, let's give a big round of applause for Dr. Crosby. This is going to be an absolutely awesome project for our communities. I want to say thank you to you for your leadership. Thank you to the board. Thank you to the donors for stepping up to the plate. This is an incredible uh, uh, partnership of everybody coming together. I see our Manatee County friends, our Sarasota County friends, the state. Uh, one person that's not here that does deserve a nod is uh, the Senate President Bill Galvano and his leadership at the state level. He's a, a, a true champion and really helped us. Uh, you know, it, I tell everybody all the time, and Fiona will learn this soon, but James and Will Robinson and Tommy Gregory, when we go to Tallahassee, it's a team approach when we go after some of these appropriations. Uh, and we were able to bring back a lot of money over the last couple of years, but a lot of that we, because we had the best quarterback in the entire state, and that was Bill Galvano. And so I want to give him a big round of applause, even though he's not here. But on top of that, I just want to say thank you to everybody for all the work you've put into this, because I think this is going to be iconic. I think this is going to be, it is going to be the gateway. The fact that it's right on the Sarasota Manatee County border, uh, I remember growing up here, I've lived here my entire life, fourth generation Sarasota, and this used to be a dirt road right out here. This was nothing. And, uh, and I always said that Randy Benerson, when, when him and his family moved to town, he single-handedly upgraded our entire community, and he made Sarasota County and Manatee County a first-class destination. And this is going to continue on that tradition in, in everything that we do now is looked at by everybody else around the world, and especially around the state. And Senator Dieter, uh, before me, I know you delivered a lot of money to this entire facility, including this amazing rowing facility. And, and what this project specifically will do is it's going to continue to bring people to this part of town, and it will continue to be the destination and the gateway. And I just want to say thank you to everybody for all your participation. We're going to continue to go up there to Tallahassee and be the champion for not only uh, uh, this project, but our entire region to make sure our economy continues to grow and we're the best possible place to live, work, and play. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thanks, Senator Gruders.
And now I'd like to introduce State Representative James Buchanan. It's an absolute pleasure to be with you on this very special day as we see Moat C become a reality. There's been so many conversations, partnerships, drawings on paper, appropriations requests, <laughs> all conceptual. And now this becomes a reality for all Floridians and the folks that come to visit the great state of Florida. The vision of Moat C is to take science to all of you, to the public, to our elected officials, our policymakers, our educators, and the next generation in order to protect Florida's natural resources and in keeping Florida's coast safe and resilient to sea level rise. We need to make sure that we're using the best science and technology tools available to prepare for sea level rise and coastal flooding and ensure sustainable use of our oceans and coastal resources. We've made some progress with this with some of our local governments and through regional partnerships, resiliency planning, I am pleased to be working very closely with MOAT to develop statewide coastal resiliency strategy to make sure Florida's coastal communities are able to better target vulnerabilities that, to mitigate those risks. One major component of the strategy will be focusing on more re resilient infrastructure, both built and natural, including restoring our mangroves, seagrass beds, oyster reefs, coral reefs. Today we celebrate MOAT on the leading edge, not only in using science and the knowledge to take action and educating our businesses, industries, and most importantly, our youth to protect our oceans and coastlines for tomorrow. MOAT is truly on the forefront developing mitigating technologies for red tide at their aquaculture and red tide facility just down the road. Some amazing concepts are being tested there as we speak. And Moat is at the cutting edge with coral reefs, Florida's first line of defense against storms. Moat leads coral science and restoration on an international scale. The Moat Science Education Aquarium is the next vital step to develop a unique facility for innovation in science and to broadcast this to folks every day, our citizens, our visitors, our future generations, and for the miles and miles of beautiful coastline here in Florida. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here with you today on this special day. Thank you, Representative Buchanan. Appreciate those comments. I'm trying to stay away from the mic in between so we don't have to continually wipe it down. Um, but uh, next person I'd like to introduce is Manatee County Commissioner Vanessa Ball. I feel a little short. Can you believe we're here today for the groundbreaking of Moat C? This has been a long endeavor, Randy. You know, I, I stand here before you today and I remember being out here one day many years ago for the rowing, uh, the first event for rowing. I was on a golf cart driving VIPs to the event. I was not an elected official at the time, but I knew what this park meant for Manatee and Sarasota. I got to tell you, it has been a, a long all a long time coming for today, but something like Moat C can't be done in a day. That's how special and wonderful they are. We cannot do without Moat Marine. And the, I'm going to be a little selfish. You know, I live right down the street in Lakewood Ranch. I could almost ride my bike here, probably. The nice thing about it is I was always jealous that they were in Longboat Cay. My grandkids, every one of my grandkids, my 10 grandchildren have all been on the moat boat more than once. So now my great grandchildren, if I ever get any, are going to be coming to the aquarium. This is a great day for Manatee and Sarasota. I want to thank the Manatee County Commissioners for supporting this project. I know that it was uh, uh, 
you know, we, we had to go through a lot of hoops. Misty Servia, you did a great job at the TDC. I thank you for that. Sarasota, wow, you guys are awesome. And I thank you. All of the legislators, state and federal, you know, I, I think at one time we were all working behind the scenes on this, James. All of us were working very hard behind the scenes to make this a reality. And I can't stand here without mentioning George Masratani. Um, I think that guy must have called me 10 times a day for a while. Uh, we had a lot going on, but here it is. We're here for the groundbreaking. So I'm just thankful to be a part. I, I am excited for the, the school children in Manatee and Sarasota because we're going to have Moat C. Thank you for all being here, and thank you, Dr. Crosby. Thank you. And now batting clean up. No pressure. No pressure. Sarasota County Commissioner Mike Moran. First off, thank you for the nice words, Vanessa, and right back at you for sure. Um, since I began campaigning to be a county commissioner in 2015, I made it very clear that economic diversity and creating careers, not jobs, was a top priority for me. I made that same promise during my campaign this year. We're standing on the site of 261 future careers in a wide variety of specialties related to marine science that will attract talented people from all over the world. In addition, we're standing on a site that will provide a pathway of future workforce development and higher education for the underserved and the underrepresented students in our region to gain advancement in research-based science. As we speak, Sarasota C will be an economic booster with an immediate benefits, immediate impact of benefits of $280 million in construction-based economic impact. Upon opening, it's estimated that $28 million economic impact will be realized every year. It will transform our local economy for generations to come as it educates and trains 65,000 school-aged children in Sarasota Manatee County in STEM-related marine science fields again every year. MOTC is exactly the kind of project I envisioned coming to life when I was elected four years ago, and I'm thrilled and honored that the voters of Sarasota County have re-elected me so I can see this project through to fruition. Dr. Crosby, a special thank you to you. Your leadership, vision, passion, and unwavering dedication to this legacy project is recognized by all. Thank you all. I'm glad to be a part of it. Thank you, Commissioner. Thanks to all the speakers for those kind words. Um, I know that you all can't help but notice that we've got some of our great first responders here today with us. That is because of what I told you at the beginning of this talk, that I will be getting into that excavator <laughs> over there. But please give a round of applause for all of our first responders who are here today as well. You know, with the early momentum of, of private philanthropy and then the county and state support, we're now at the point of adding a critical third source of support, corporate sponsorships. Today, I'm proud to announce the initial cohort of, cohort's a fisheries term, if you know, the initial cohort of corporate sponsors that have formally signed on in support of our vision to give a rebirth of our aquarium here as the Moat Science Education Aquarium at Nathan Benderson Park. Our first corporate sponsors with formal agreements are Benderson Development. Give them a round of applause. Gold Coast Eagle Distributing. Got to have that beer. Ajax Paving. Caldwell Trust Company, CBiz Insurance, Fervis, and Florida Power and Light. Uh, these, these companies are not only 
pillars of our business community, but they're also pillars of corporate sponsorships and support here in our community. You're going to see many, many of these corporations with their names as exhibit sponsors uh, when we open the doors of Mode C. And in the coming weeks and months, we will be announcing many additional, where's Michael Moore? Many additional, uh, I point to Michael because he's, he's my man for this, but many, many additional corporate sponsors once we finalize our formal agreements with Mode C with them. And of course, we're doing a heck of a lot more than just raising money and doing the design and beginning the construction. As I speak, Allie Bussey, where's Allie? Allie Bussey, who's our assistant VP for education over there, she and her staff have been working for over 12 months now with our local county school systems to ensure that based on state of Florida education standards and a focus on MOAT research, that MOAT C will include three state-of-the-art STEM education teaching labs that will be provided absolutely free of charge, free of charge, to all of our students, all K-12 STEM classes in Sarasota and Manatee districts. And we are going to ensure that it's part of that educational framework. We want to make sure it's integrated. At Moat C is integrated as part of our public education system. And at Moat C, each and every child, each and every child, and when I look over, where's that little baby that just, ah, there. Right over there, that's what it's all about. That, that little baby right there is what it's all about. It's the next generation. And we want to make sure every single child in K through 12 classes in all of our schools, all and throughout this region, are immersed in the highest quality STEM learning experience. This is what we call Oceans for All. That's why Mode Education staff have been so engaged with Manatee and Sarasota County School District staff. Moat C is really about those children that our schools serve. The STEM programs and opportunities that Moat Education staff are developing for our schools are actually so robust and so exciting that we just couldn't wait for the doors to open before we started hiring new staff for our Moat C STEM education teaching labs. This week, we hired the first full-time new staff member to focus on STEM education at Moat C. Our new professional archivist librarian will be designing and implementing digital archive resources for the C, C STEM Education Resource Center, mouthful, but this is going to provide free open access source of information for all of our K-12 students digitally online, as well as to help support our county's STEM teachers professional development. The K-12 STEM teaching labs for our school are such a priority, we just couldn't wait to start bringing on the new staff for that. This is a truly exciting time. It's an exciting time, of course, for Moat and all the staff that are here that have been so engaged in getting us to this point, but it's also a very exciting time for Sarasota, for Manatee, and for the state of Florida. I'm thrilled to be sharing this celebration with you all here today, as well as, as Dr. Sider said, those who couldn't join us and who are with us live on whatever this is, face, Zoom, Twitter, whatever it is um, that we're doing. Um, I got really smart people that know how to do this stuff. But clearly, I don't. But I do want to thank again all of our sea explorers, all of our donors, our elected officials who are here, government representatives, our corporate sponsors. And I want to invite everybody to join us now and having a little bit of fun in the dirt. I'm going to ask the first group of uh, folks to come join Dr. Sider and myself um, to get some shovels and uh, dig in the dirt and have a little fun. So we're going to get m most of you in on some things, and then I'm going to play in that big excavator uh, as well. And so glad the first responders are here. But thank you all very, very much for getting us to this point together. Thank you.
anybody that's in group two will line up in the pile of dirt over to to my your left. You're in group uh, Carol, you're in group uh, Manatee three, group three. Two, five or six. Yeah, they're group, group six. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, group one is finished with group two on the dirt pile to the left. Group three is the Manatee County Commissioners. You can start lining up in the dirt pile on the right. 